guys, welcome back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, my name is Andrea. I have been a type 1 diabetic for over 18 years, and this is just a channel about life with type 1 diabetes, living with a chronic condition. Some tips, some tricks, some reviews, which is what this video will be. So, welcome. Or welcome back. I've had a lot of questions about what insulin pump I use and if I could do sort of a review on what I think and what my opinions are and uh, well this is this video. I am on the Medtronic 640G. It's the only insulin pump I've ever had. This is my first insulin pump so take everything that I say with a grain of salt knowing that I don't have anything to personally compare it to. My dad and my brother are both type 1 diabetics and I've seen how they interact with their pumps and we sort of talked about what the differences are and stuff like that and actually my dad went from an older version of a Medtronic onto a T-Slim so I have a little tiny bit of sort of basis of comparison from afar but personally this is the only one I've used so just prefacing this video by saying that. I am on the Medtronic 640G. This is known as the Medtronic 630G in the US, I've come to understand. For those of you who don't know, yes, I have an American accent, but I live in the UK. I am on the NHS. This pump is covered on the NHS, so that is how I came to choose it. I thought I'd just begin with some bullet point technical specifications for those of you that might be interested in that. On this pump you can have eight basal patterns and within those patterns each pattern can have 48 basal rates. So those are basically your little bits of insulin that you're given throughout the day. So if between 10 and 11 a.m. you want something different between 11 and 12 30 p.m. and then something different at 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. you can sort of finely tune all those rates to be different. This is really the heart of a pump are those basal rates and the way you can tailor them throughout the day. The reservoirs for the 640G you can get a 1.8 or 3.0 reservoir that means they hold 180 units of insulin or 300 units of insulin. The screen is color and it is automatically light adjustable which basically means you turn it on in a dark room and it's not going to go full blast because it's going to sense that that room is dark and give you a little bit less oomph on the light. It will deliver a 75 unit maximum bolus, so at any one time that's the maximum amount you can take in one delivery. And it has a 35 unit max per hour basal delivery rate. It weighs 95 grams and it is waterproof up to 12 feet for up to 24 hours. I've personally not tested this theory at all. Um, when I go like swimming or something like that, I just end up taking off the pump and then reconnecting when I come out of the pool or the beach or whatever. But apparently it is waterproof, so that's really awesome. And I think pumps should be waterproof because there's some really active diabetics out there. It is compatible with the Contour Next Link 2.4 blood glucose machine. That means with this blood glucose machine, you can take your blood sugar on this and send it wirelessly to your pump. And this is apparently the only blood glucose machine that connects with this pump. The other thing that it's compatible with is the Enlight 2 CGM sensor. This is Medtronic's CGM. They do have another CGM that goes with a later version of a Medtronic pump, but the Enlight 2 is what works with the 640G. And that has been a big deal for this pump in that that sensor will talk to this pump via the transmitter, so it will basically in layman terms take your blood sugar, send it to the pump, and then the pump, it cannot automatically adjust insulin rates, but it can do this thing called smart guard, where if you're going low, it can cut the basal rate out or down so as to avoid the oncoming low. So those are the technical specifications. Now I thought I would get into the cons, the things I love about this pump. And there are a lot, but I'm gonna just roll through them. First of all, I love, love, love the temporary basal function. And I think this function is particularly useful and very easy to interact with on this pump. The temporary basal function basically means that you can, you have a set basal rate that you're taking. So for example, if you're taking one unit per hour, you can reduce or increase that basal rate by a percentage on this pump. So if 
I'm taking one unit per hour and I decide, hey, I'm gonna go on a walk and that's probably gonna make my blood sugar go low, but I don't want to eat anything or, you know, I want to avoid an oncoming low, I can just take that basal rate down for a 15 minute chunk of time, 30 minute, hour, two hour, six hour, whatever chunk of time and bring that down or up as needed. I love this function. I love it for working out. I love it for just avoiding oncoming lows. If you can see where you're trending, it's just magical. And I think it's really, really easy on this pump particularly. That being said as well with the basal rates, it's really easy to go in there and adjust and fine tune basal rates. I'm quite confident with this. I've talked to my medical professionals, so I feel really confident and comfortable about going in there and adjusting my basal rates. That's not to say that's the case for everybody. So please don't take this and go off and adjust basal rates if you don't know what you're doing because it's very, very important that you discuss this with a medical professional. But um, in this pump, I found it very easy to go in and manipulate. And I know in comparison, for example, my dad, who's on the T-Slim X2, I believe, he says in comparison to the Medtronic, that the T-Slim is a little bit more difficult to go in and adjust basal rates. Again, that's not a pump that I'm on or I've had any practice with, but my dad says that and he's comparing it to this sort of range of pumps. There's a really nice tactile feedback with the buttons. I will insert a little clip here showing that tactile feedback. So it's not just that you press a button, you get like a click, a push in and a push out, basically. That's all I can sort of describe it. And I think that is wonderful because you get that tactile feedback so you know for sure you've pushed a button or for sure you haven't if you haven't gotten that that click. I love the belt clip. It's got a belt clip that you can use to clip it onto your trousers and your bra, what have you, wherever you want to stir your pump. And it's just a good sturdy accessory. I like that it can be used one-handed. Like I said earlier, I live in London, so oftentimes I'm on the tube or on a bus with bags, backpacks or what have you. And the fact that I can just easily get my pump out and that it's small enough to finagle with the buttons one-handed is just great. I really love the bolus calculator function. That is basically something that initially when you set up the pump, you set it up with your healthcare professional to decide what your insulin sensitivity rates are. And again, these are adjustable throughout the day. But for me, I do sort of one unit of insulin for 15 grams of carbohydrate. So I can plug in how many carbs I'm eating on this pump and it will automatically calculate the amount of insulin that I should be giving myself. So, I mean, that's just so simple and slick and I love it. I also really appreciate the fact that you can remote bolus from this blood glucose machine. So you can actually connect this machine up with your pump and you can bolus from here and it will send it to the pump. That has come in really, really handy when like I'm wearing it with a skirt or something like that and I don't wanna get all up in my business and you know, dial up insulin. That way I can just casually do it on the sly. Also, if you're somebody who's just a little bit less like wanting to take your pump out and out there with it, which is totally a-okay in your prerogative. This allows for a little bit more kind of discretion and privacy. I like the fact that you can adjust the insulin delivery rates. So basically it can deliver it slow or fast, your bolus. So if I'm taking a unit, it might happen like that, or it might happen over say a 30, 40 second window. This is really helpful if you have your infusion set in a place where the insulin is a bit burny when it delivers or something like that. You can opt for that slower delivery and that can lessen the effect of that. Or fast if you just wanna get in, get out, get on with your day. <laughs> also with this pump, you can customize alerts. So I have it set every three days. I have a set change reminder. So every three days, it'll just buzz and it'll tell me, hey, time to change your infusion set. You can also set things like taking pills alerts. You can set an alert to take your blood glucose, an alert, I believe, to even like, remember two bolus. So maybe if you wanna put that around, you know, mealtime or something like that. I just think those alerts are handy. And really important, I love the customer service. Medtronic's customer service is always, always awesome. 
I have never had a problem with them, and I can say that without a shadow of a doubt. Every time I've called up, I've spoken to someone who was kind, who was patient, who was considerate, who asked questions, who took their time with me. I felt fully informed about what they were telling me, and I fully understood things. I felt able to ask questions. I've never been rushed off the phone or anything like that. It's a really, really tight team they have. I don't, I can't speak for what it's like in other countries, so I am speaking in the UK, but what they have going on in the UK is just phenomenal. Props to everyone who works there, everyone who is involved with that, because you guys are just awesome. Now to bring it on home with a couple of the cons. I don't have a lot of cons for this, so let me just put that out there, but there are a few things that I would love to be different. First and foremost, it does seem a bit bulky to me. I don't know exactly specification-wise how it compares with others, but like I've met other diabetics and seen their pumps and seen my dad's T-Slim and stuff like that. and. The Medtronic 640G does seem a bit more on the bulkier side of things. It's not huge. This is a medical device. It's doing amazing things, so sometimes I feel bad saying that, but for me, it does seem a little bit bulky. I store it in my, like, trousers, stuff like that. That ends up stretching them out over time, which is a little bit frustrating to me because it's just you know, it's just that extra bit of bulk. And if it was a bit flatter, if it took a smaller battery, it takes a double A battery. So a big portion of the pump is actually the double A battery and then of course the reservoir. Uh, now in other pumps, they have like a bladder reservoir so that can go flattened rather than a plastic tube. But you know, it does seem a little bit bulky to me and I would much prefer if it was smaller. I do love the remote bolus function, but I wish that you could do other things remotely. You can only bolus. You can't set temporary basils. You can't, you know, do, do anything else remotely. You only can send a delivery of insulin. And I just wish, I wish that you could set temporary basils and stuff like that, because then you truly wouldn't have to interact with the pump. But if you do want to, you know, do that sort of extra stuff, you're gonna have to reach in wherever you have the pump stored and do it. This ain't gonna do it for you. So a little bit more remote access via this meter would be awesome. Another thing is CareLink, which is a sort of system that Medtronic has that you can upload to. It uploads all your data and then you can send it on to your medical professional or whatever. CareLink is so hard to upload to. I don't know if it's easier if you're a PC user. I'm a Mac user. Every time I have to call up customer service. And yes, customer service is awesome. They talk me through it every time, but it is so dang frustrating. I just can never make it work. You've got to go in and fiddle with all these like little allowance settings on your browser. It's really fiddly and not user friendly and therefore I don't end up using it very much. I really only upload to it when I'm about to go for a doctor's appointment and they're going to want to see that information. But other than that, I don't do it myself and then digest the information, which I probably would do if it was easier to access and upload to. Once you have it up there, it's awesome and, and it presents such a load of helpful information. But if that helpful information is really difficult to access, it doesn't matter how wonderful the information is, if it's difficult to get there, chances are you aren't gonna get there. If every time I wanna look at that information, I have to call up customer service and spend 30, 40, 50 minutes talking with them and troubleshooting and all sorts, I'm just less likely to do it. And lastly, my very final con is the Enlight sensor. The fact that you can only use it with a Medtronic sensor and that it has to be this Enlight 2 sensor. I've already told you guys it didn't work for me and therefore I haven't been able to utilize that portion of the pump. And honestly, that's one of the reasons I chose to go on this pump because I wanted that smart guard technology to cut out your basal rate if you're going low but it just hasn't worked for me and therefore I feel like I haven't really been able to utilize the full capability of this pump. But also that Enlight sensor system with the sensors and the CGM for one year full-time wear 
is 3,500 pounds per year, which is a lot of money. I love that the pump has that technology, but in order to access that technology, it's a huge financial step and it's got to work for you too. That uh, is a little bit off the path of just being specifically commenting on the pump, but because that the pump technology relies on that CGM, it's real difficult if that CGM doesn't work for you, isn't compatible with you, like how I had, I just couldn't get it to be accurate for me, or isn't compatible with your financial situation, which is totally understandable. That is a lot of money. So that's my final con. And there we have it. That is my review on the Medtronic 640G. I personally have only had one pump in my life, so this is it, and I adore it. I adore the technology. I was so resistant to going on a pump, and now I would never turn back, honestly. I will link up wherever my honest review of going onto a pump. I did a whole video talking about what it was like transitioning and expectation versus reality was and all that type of thing. If you'd like to see that, click up above wherever I've linked it. But yeah, I love my pump and uh, it's sort of just a part of me now. And I feel really happy with the choice that I made. And I can personally recommend the 640G, but at the same time, everything about diabetes as we all know is so personal so take all this information with a grain of salt filter it through what you want out of a device compare it with other things talk to sales reps talk to medical professionals it's really important that you make the right decision for you because i can tell you that i like this pump but it might not be the right one for you and that's totally understandable because like i said everything is so personal so there we have it that's my review. Those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. If you are also on the Medtronic 640G, let me know. If you've liked it, if you've disliked it, if you're on a different pump, if you're on pens thinking about switching, just give me a, give me a holler down below. I always love to hear from you guys. And I think that also helps other people considering so we get more than just my opinion out here. Talk to other people in the comments, let each other know, get a conversation going. That's always what I love, love, love to see. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Correct boluses, straight CGM lines, great blood sugars, all the rest of it. But most of all, and as always, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thanks guys. See you next time.